Good morning, Kev at Leeds Harmonica here again. Before we dig into today's uh, lick, which is more of a sort of rhythmic device, um, I just want to say a quick word about learning and progression. Obviously, I'm working with people trapped teaching how to play blues harmonica. And one of the most common things I find is that people's expectations are usually a little bit too high. Um, it takes a long time and real dedication to get good at this. Um, it's not a walk in the park. Every, every instrument has its own set of challenges and uh, physical and technical challenges and the harmonica is no exception. Um, it's a very strange instrument. And as well as learning to play the harmonica, at the same time, if you haven't played another instrument before, you're learning to play music, okay? Which is a whole separate thing from whatever instrument you've got, okay? Music is how music works, how things fit together, how rhythms work and how melodies fit on top of rhythms and how uh, notes can harmonize with each other, how you can use chords, all that stuff is completely separate from the technical challenge of learning to play an instrument. Um, and it's not easy. And maybe I'm not the best at trying to explain to people, though I am obviously trying my best. Um, and I'm always looking for ways that I can improve sort of my methods of delivering information to people, particularly with music theory, because I have struggled for years and years and years trying to put sort of rudimentary music theory knowledge together. And it is not easy. And then the application of what you've learned is a whole other thing as well. So all I'm really saying is that um, please try and have fun when you're learning. Nothing comes for free, okay? And in fact, what I found on harmonica is that you can work and work and work to get what feels, you can work and work and work on a technique. And then once you've mastered it, it feels like it really wasn't that big a deal because really when you're playing blues harmonica it's it's layering of lots of different techniques that build up the that build up the sound um, and knowledge of rhythm is just as important as your uh, your technical ability on the instrument some people pick things up, some people pick some things up really quickly, whereas it takes that same person a really long time to learn something else. Um, whereas another person might have exactly the opposite experience. Person B is not struggling with what person A did. They got that pretty cool. But what person A got really uh, well, person B is struggling with, okay? Everyone's, everyone's different. Um, and the import, the most important thing I think is that you're enjoying yourself because you don't have to do this right you have to be a little bit mad in fact to want to um, so if you're not enjoying yourself either take a step back and rearrange what you're doing and try and put a little bit more fun into it I can help with that hopefully or just consider whether you want to do it at all because there's very little reward <laughs> for playing blues harmonica, you're not going to get rich off it. Um, so, yeah, bear in mind that nothing comes free. You need to enjoy playing. And something I'm always telling students, one of David Barrett's quotes is, you will be able to do it, you just don't know when. Okay, it will come. Right, on to the lick. Not so much of a lick to share with you today, more of a rhythmic device. Um, I spoke on the last video, which I recorded about 20 minutes ago, about um, 
playing in between the notes. The previous lick was starting on the end of the one. And what I'm going to show today um, for the benefit really of one of my, uh, a guy I've been working with for a, a really long time, uh, Hi Nom, uh, we were talking about this on Sunday and some people get it quicker than others, you know, that's life. So what I'm going to do is I am going to play a simple rhythm and we call this the Charleston rhythm. I'm just going to set up a little beat for myself here. One. I missed it. Or one, two, three, four. Now the trick here, it's just two notes, I'm just drawing on two draw. But I'm drawing on the on the beat, on the on the first down beat, one and two and, and then the second note is coming on the and of two before the third beat. So it's going one, two, three, four. Hopefully that makes... Um, so I'm going to do what I usually do. Uh, I've got a jam track from MCCD sessions, Chicago Blues in D, second position, I've got a C harmonica. Um, so I'm going to use this rhythm and I'm just going to improvise around it. Um, but I'm always going to come back to this steady rhythm. And this, the rhythm itself, um, just those two notes I was playing are really useful for um, accompanying uh, accompanying other players because um, it sits nicely in the background, it's nice and rhythmic, you're not drawing attention to yourself. You know, when a soloist's soloing or your uh, uh, a singer's singing, you can get away with this, as long as you play quietly. Um, anyway, so I will do a fair amount of rhythmic stuff here. Here we go. I'm going to match the chord changes.
so there you go. That's um, that's the rhythm, a little Charleston rhythm, very, very useful. I hope that uh, was useful for you and you enjoyed. I will see you later.